How y'all doing? Welcome to Our Achievement Week, hosted by the winning Omega Zeta chapter of the Omega South Park Attorney. And today, we're going to be talking about some credit tips. All right, so today we're going to be keeping it short and sweet. We're going to start with what is credit, how can it help you, how to build a credit score, and tips on credit. All right, so first off, we're going to start with what is credit. So the actual definition of credit is that is the ability to borrow money with the mutual understanding that an amount will be repaid in the future. Okay, so that is the basic understanding of credit. It's if you let me use this money, I'll give it to you back in the future. And it's all based around trust. So the way I like to think about credit is that credit is a financial transcript. So in school, we have transcripts that we will get grades and that allows teachers to see our academic capabilities and see what type of work we're putting in. But now with credit score, they're able to look at it and be able to tell what type of person we are with the money that they lend us. So that's how that is evaluated within the financial world. Okay, so right here we have the FICO score breakdown. And don't get confused, FICO is just another form of a credit scale rating system. All right, so right here we got the pie chart, which explains everything that goes into creating your credit score. And the biggest part of that is payment history at 35%. And we have accounts owned plus credit utilization at 30%, length of history at 15, new credit at 10, and credit mix at 10. And don't worry, I will come back and explain that in a couple seconds. So, what you have to understand is that this is just a basic pie chart. Now, lenders can evaluate different things in that pie chart more so than others, depending on what you're applying for, whether that be mortgage, credit cards, or anything else that involves them lending you some type of financial choice. So because there are different types of grading scales and because lenders evaluate things differently, this is why there are many types of different grading scales for lenders, creating different types of credit scores. And the most common one that you're gonna see throughout your lifespan is gonna be 508, which is the most common score used by all three major credit bureaus, being TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian. All right, so these are the components of the credit scoring that you saw in the pie chart on the slide before, okay? So how we're gonna do this, first part is payment history, which comes in at about 35%, making it the most important part of your credit score. So this is how well you're gonna pay past credit accounts on time. And on time is always gonna be the biggest thing that lenders look at, because if you're not paying yours on one time, you're not reliable, thus they will be less likely to want to lend you money. All right. So the second part of this is going to be the second most important, but it should be prioritized highly because a lot of people do not understand it and that is why they suffer from it in the long run. That is the credit utilization. Credit utilization is how much of your available credit you are using. I know that sounds confusing at first, but just listen. For example, if you were to have a credit line for about a thousand dollars, if you use $300 of that, you have a credit utilization percentage of 30%. And this is how much you want to stay below. Usually people try to stay between 20% to 30% to boost your credit score. I promise you, it will help. So the next part of this is still equally as important, but it doesn't come in about 15% of the credit score. And that is going to be the length of history. The length of history shows usage and consistency to lenders. So, for example, if you don't have any credit history, that doesn't necessarily mean that's a good thing because lenders don't have that information to be able to evaluate you as a viable asset to them. Having good history and having created that over time, that's why you have to start early as possible. As early as you can understand credit, that is when you should hop into it. So that's why you should talk to your parents. And we're gonna talk about some tricks that can help you start early later on. The last two parts come in at 10% each. The first part is gonna be credit mix, which is a mix of credit cards, installment loans, mortgages, and all types of different things of diversifying your lending process. But we're not gonna go too far into that since this is targeted towards a college slash early adulthood demographic. And a 
last part is new credit and what you just have to understand about that is don't wake up tomorrow and say, I'm gonna go get credit in the open tenant accounts. It's not smart, it makes you feel like a risky lender. So, when you understand what credit can do for you, it will definitely make you want to go out there and build your credit. Because good credit scores can make you look better to potential buyers because looking at your transcript is gonna allow them to see what type of discipline you have outside the workplace. Also, this is gonna allow you to get approved for lower interest rates on loans in the future. And especially when you are going out to look for a house because those mortgage rates are gonna be bad if you are on the bad end of your credit score. So a house with a credit score, the first thing is understand what you're doing before you hop in. There are many people that don't understand credit and then hop into it thinking that it's something that it's not. But if you understand staying credit before using it, this will allow you to use the entirety of this economic engine to the best of your abilities. So the next part is have good discipline and pay your cars off on time. This is the simplest thing you can do to raise your credit scores. Because paying consistently and on time will be easy ways to add points to your credit score. And the next part is dispute credit report errors and derogatories. So when you check your credit score and check everything, check if there are credit report errors and derogatories. That part of this is dispute credit report errors and derogatories. And basically what that means is stay vigilant of your credit report because there are some things that can pop up on your credit report without you even knowing and it can damage your credit score. So checking your credit score not too often will allow you to stay vigilant, stay disciplined on top of your stuff. So for your final tips before I get out your way, we're gonna talk about keeping your credit utilization under 30%. You wanna keep it about 20 to 30% and this will allow lenders to see that you are responsible at this point and that's gonna give you major points of your credit. The next part is start as early as possible with proper knowledge. You wanna start as early as possible because when it's about 30, you wanna put aside your ways and it's time to settle down, you want to have a good credit score and going out to find that home. And that's why you want to start now to give you a lot of time to be able to build that. But before you do that, research credit before opening an account because it is hard to get it back up and easy to drop it. So you want to make sure that you have all the proper knowledge before getting into that world. So the next part is going to be research and authorize you. Now this can help you achieve high credit scores without even touching the car. And this is a tool that allows a lot of kids to leave college with high credit scores named the note. So authorized user is basically allowing a 15 year old kid or above to have their parents credit history report on their credit report, which allows them to build history time and show lenders that they're great. And they haven't even done anything, but it's gonna raise their credit score. Trust me, it's a wonderful tool and a lot of them a great job. Discipline is the last part and it is key to make a plan, stick to it, and you will be fine. So just do your research, stay disciplined, stick to it.